Hi folks, this morning on Midwest Outdoors, we are out at beautiful Big Stone Lake. We're here in Ortonville, Minnesota, right at the foot of the lake we're with Tanner Arndt. He's a guide out here, and we're gonna head out and chase some sunfish, and we're gonna catch some largemouth bass. This place has got some really big ones, and we're gonna go check it out. Right about where I'm at there is gonna kinda of be the sweet spot. There he goes again. Are on that spot. Got him. Got him. He's fighting bluegill. He's going all the way around. Yeah. <laughs> fighting like his bass. Ooh, Look at that. nice one. Chunker. That's what we're That's looking for. That's the way to start the day, Tanner. Better yeah. watch my bobber. I guarantee we're gonna get bigger today. You know we're doing something right. Oh yeah. Them. Nice ones. Fun to catch. For sure, we'll get that one back and catch another. Got him. Man, these it things fight. <laughs> well, yeah, big bluegill will give you a kick. He'll trick you every time. Jim Look at Dandy, the size huh? of that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think that thing's as tall as it is yeah. long. We're just throwing out these, uh, these little slip bobbers with a piece of crawler right now. And uh, these fish are moving in shallow in the spring here to spawn. And we're not running real deep. But uh, like I say, just a little piece of crawler, a little jig head on a slip bobber, and that's kind of been the deal for us. Oh, got him, there you go. Ooh, look at that toad. <laughs> wow, that is a nice one. Uh, these bluegills, they've always been in the lake, but they've really come on now. Your pan fishing in general has really gotten good out here, hasn't it? We've really seen a boom in these big bluegills and they're just getting more and more numerous all the time. And you got a great fall bite for perch too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you can't forget about the perch out here. That's what Big Stone's known for, but it's changing over to these guys pretty quick. Come on. Yeah. I don't know, this one might be green. Either that or if it's a gill, it's a big one. Nice crappie. Look Ooh, at the color of that one. Black. But you got 26 miles of water here on Big Stone, huh? So a lot of places to fish. And actually for the, the panfish, they like to spawn in this gravel and this rock stuff that the lake has a bunch of. So it's a perfect environment for them, isn't it? You know, a fairly narrow and long lake, there's a lot of good shoreline, like you say, with that hard bottom for these fish to move up into this time of year. And see why black and blue is a favorite for bass, too, on that yes. fish right there, huh? Yep. See you, dude. Bite it. There we go. Get him. Tricky. There we go. Nice. That's you gotta have these ones to make the big yep. ones. So good to see. Nice little fish there. Get in the chatter bait. Yep. There he is. Nice. Chunk. This one here hit a Texas rig right up close to shore. We got a lot of cover here on Big Stone, a lot of shorelines. So looking for shallow cover, trees, rocks, where rocks meet weeds this time of year is a good thing to fish for. That one. There you go. Come on. Good fish. Got him. Jumping. Come on in here. You know, there's a lot of different fish to catch out here in Big Stone Lake. Obviously, large mouths. And Big bluegills, crappies, great walleye lake. There's northern pike in here, but there's a lot of other things the area has to offer too. And we checked in with Gloria Larson. She's the head of the uh, Big Stone Chamber to see what else they got going on. Gloria, when people get here, you like to tell them to relax, you're here. People right. love coming to the lake, they love fishing, but there's a lot of other things to do here in Ortonville, isn't there? We have a beautiful golf course um, the museum, which is really nice to see. And we had a lot of nice businesses downtown, little shops and a lot of food places to enjoy. Big Stone Wildlife Refuge is yep. very popular. You can go through the auto tour route out there and see all the birds. You can check out our website at bigstonelake.com. It's got everything listed for our lodging, our restaurants, and all the different activities in the area. That's a little better, yeah. Huh? A little plop to that one. The best part of these two is on that hook set. When they're big, it's solid. You know it's a fish because the line's moving and you set the hook and it doesn't move. Let you go. Poosh. 
Chunky. You're healthy. What do you think? It's the bluegills? Oh, you got Double one too? Doubled up. Doubled up. Yep. They're liking this spot. Woo! Just goes to show how many of these there is in the system right now. Doubled up. That's a good way to end the day. Tell you what, there is a ton of fish in Big Stone Lake. You got largemouth bass, sunfish, crappies, walleyes, northerns. If you want to come out here and catch them yourself, well, how do they find out more information, Tanner? You bet. They can just go to the uh, Chamber's website, bigstonelake.com. Um, we got up-to-date fishing reports at Artie's on Facebook as well. Yep. For Tanner Art, I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors is coming right up.